Hey, hi everyone. This is Pooja Samir Bhundwe, Assistant Professor in AISMS IIT of the Department Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. So, uh, in today's session, we will see the different functions of a management information system. So, here the important management functions can be uh, categorized in the four major functions that is planning, organizing, staffing, directing and the controlling. So here in the planning we have to set the goals and deciding the best method to achieve them. So for required it required the first planning method. Next whatever we have planned then required the organizing. So in the organizing we are allocating and arranging the resources of a different staff. Next one is that uh, we required the uh, staffing next one is directing and controlling so in the uh, directing and the staffing the influences of other it works towards the goals and uh, achieving the uh, whatever the plan of for organizing the organization that will be a lead or we can say in the staffing and the directing next one is the controlling so whatever the regulations activities to reach the goals that will be in the controlling so now we will see how this each and every function will be work so now in the first uh, the planning is an important function of a management because it involves the setting of the goals and uh, deciding the best method to achieve them so uh, another role of the planning is that most important on the basic activity of a management the functions also includes considering what must be done to encouraging the necessary levels of change and innovation so next one is planning provide the basic for the major functions of a management organizing leading controlling staffing so manager with his has subroutines and set with required the goals to establish uh, establish the policies uh, then standard methods after that uh, uh, develop program strategy and the schedule to achieve the goals so the plan must be a flexible so that it can be modified due to the change in working environment and the new information so the based on the function there exists two types of planning that is strategic planning and the operational planning so in here uh, the strategic planning which will address the long range goals that will bo board an approach for achieving them and then operational uh, uh, planning is which focuses on the short range objective and that specified means used by use them and related to managerial activities uh, of decision making so uh, you may know look at the two things were done in the past make in adjustment to migrate the errors so we have to consider the both the internal factors like uh, people time and the cost of that product and the external factor also that is competitors then policy different policies then general business environment to at arrive at the surround in the planning strategy so this is the main functions or the first functions of a management information system now we will go to the second one that is organizing so organizing uh, where we put our plan to action uh, means whatever we have created the plan we have to implement that or we have to act that by establishing the system uh, of an authority or heritage area in the context of an our organization structure so here organizing is a management function that focuses on allocating and arranging the human and non human resources so that plans can be carried out successfully so different task must be assigned to a different people and their effort must be coordinated so this will involves uh, in the organizing the coordination of a task and the various ways to accomplish it the management process organizing the function provides the valuable tool for uh, promoting and innovation of facilitating the needed changes so organizing is also concerned with the building uh, developing maintaining and the working relationship so another definition of an organization is organizational structure that will align with your workplace and assign the tasks that map to your team skills and the abilities you have to get everyone on the same page and delegate the task to way you see fit so this is nothing but the organizing now we will go to the next uh, functions of an that is uh, directing 
so in the directing uh, is concerned with the supervising your team progress uh, in this step you have to keep on your open channel communication and get regular updates uh, to stay on the top of the things a great way to do this by giving the receiving the feedback to address by problems areas uh, conflict uh, improve the performance so in this there where we have to act as a leader so it will navigate the conflicts and motivate your employees to take an initiative so uh, the directing is and management uh, is the management function will be in involve the influencing to other to engage in the works uh, behavior necessary to organizational goals so also it includes the communicating to others providing the direction motivating the people so this function also includes the incurring the necessary level of charge and innovation so in this process of leading a manager strives to match the needs of the people with the objective of the company so a uh, leader must also recognize the need of corporation combine efforts for the survival growth and the fame so here here leader did maintain the good balance between the individual motivations and the cooperative efficiency so that is nothing but the directing the next one is that controlling so here controlling the function uh, aim at regulating the organizational activities so that the actual performance meets accepted objective standards of an company for the regulatory of an organizational activity manager needs to be a monitor ongoing activity and compare the result with the standard and take the necessary corrective action so here where you have to measure the progress of each step established in the planning stage again by the organizational goal so these steps requires you to coordinate, uh, coordinate the your employees to ensure that they are moving the right direction in the right manner so this is another and the next one is staffing so staffing is the another important function of an management we have to assign the different tasks based on each team member knowledge skill and abilities of that particular person you have to careful about because you have the higher new talent of a specific task that requires the specific technical expertise assigning the needs to your employees in terms of incentive training development compensations and the critical for the success of these steps so uh, in effective manager will have the insight to evaluate to competency and the efficiency of their employees this is to ensure that their uh, assign a task uh, match their skill and they have we have to adopt the effective approach and to connect with your employees and understand their strength and weakness regarding to your project so that is the main uh, functions of an um, our mis so these are the three uh, iu main function that is planning organizing staffing directing and the controlling so this is we have staff here thank you